Father God, we thank you once again, Lord. Thank you for this 3P content, Father God. Thank you for your many blessings, Father God. Thank you for another word, Lord. I just feel all this fire burning inside of me, Lord. I thank you for the energy. Thank you for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, God. And thanking you most importantly for giving me the word. And I pray, Lord, that you would decrease me so that you can get the increase, Father God. I love you. Give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And all these many blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Let every heart and every chosen one say, amen. Shout out to the WTC gang. We back, baby. We the chosen ones. I'm back with that back to back to back content. Give a brother a thumbs up. Please stay tuned to the very end of this video because this is going to be a good one, guys. Like I said, happy Friday to everybody. I hope everybody have a blessed and safe weekend. Stay out the way. Stay prayed up. Continue to put God first and he going to add everything that your heart desires. Amen. But let me tell you something. God says, I know what is good for you. Allow me to take what I know will harm you. I love you. Amen. God is saying, I know what is good for you. Come on now. See, God's plans for you is of good and not of evil. But people's plans for you was of evil and not of good. Thank God that his plans was, was of good for you and not of evil. God is saying right now, I know what's good for you. Allow me to take what will harm you. That's deep right there. God will take away that pain that's going to hurt you in the long run. God will remove people out of your life that he know that's going to hurt you in the long run. God will really remove negative people out of your life that know that will dampen your spirit. Because he already know that his plans for you is of good and not of evil. People was plotting and planning things all behind your back you didn't know nothing about. And you keep questioning, God, why did you remove this person from my life? Why did you remove that person from my life? Because he heard conversations that you couldn't even hear. My God. He made moves that you wouldn't even make. My God. That's how good God is. God sees things before we see it. So when God does some things in our lives and when he moves certain people out of our lives, we want to question him. We want to get upset with him. We want to cry. We want to fuss. We want to argue with him. You don't want to argue with God. You don't want to question God because he does things for a reason. You don't understand it right now, but you'll understand it better by and by. Come on now. He said, I know what's good for you. Huh. That's how good God is. I know. I know what your heart desires. I know what's going to make you get to that promised land. This is what God is saying. I know what's best for you. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, God knows what's best for me. Huh. God sees the best in me when everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. God sees the best in me. I know what's good for me. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. When everyone else around me seen the worst in me, God already seen what's, what's, what's the best in me. God seen the best in me. That's why God is saying, I know what's good for you. Let me take away those things that's going to harm you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. In the name of Jesus, every tongue that rises up against you will be condemned in judgment. So it don't matter what these people are saying behind your back. It don't matter how people are treating you. It don't matter if people's plans for you was of evil and not of good. God is simply saying, I am the creator of the heavens and the earth. I'm going to turn all that evilness and turn it into goodness. Huh. I'm going to turn all that negativity and turn it into positivity. My God. God said, I'm going to turn you. I'm going to turn you into somebody from nobody. Don't you tell me what my God won't do because I know what my God will do. Understand, understand. You have to understand that people counted you out. People pointed the finger at you. People was going to really be hurtful and harmful to you for the rest of your life. And if God had never removed these people out of your life, let me tell you something. You will be still stuck in a place the same as these Decepticons. You will still be stuck in that same place again. Nobody going to stay the same forever. 
God really just changed on people. He moves on people in the blink of an eye. God will change that heart. God will change your mind. God will change your spirit. But you got to go through some trials and tribulations. You got to go through the fire, the storm, and the rain. You got to go through some heartaches. You got to go through some setbacks. You got to go through some betrayals in order to get what God got for you. I went through it. You got to go through it in order to get to it. In order to get to it, excuse me. You got to go through it in order to get to it. Put that in the comments below and say, I got to go through it in order for me to get to it. God got a plan. God got a vision for your life. That's why God is saying, I know what's good for you. My plans is of good and not of evil. To give you an expected end. To, 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 to give you so many blessings I mean room enough to where you can't even receive I need everybody to comment 1111 below Because God is getting ready to pour out Blessings on top of blessings On top of blessings Only with your name on it My God from Zion Don't tell me what God won't do The blood of Jesus I don't know why this man behind me Came in here earlier the devil is a liar. Go back to the pits of hell to where you belong. But let me break it down to you. God will do just what he says. That's why you got to be watchful. You got to be prayerful. You don't know who watching you or who looking at you. Ever since I said that, he got on. But let me tell you something. It don't even matter if everybody walked out on you. It don't even matter if everybody don't even support you. God says, I know what is good for you. My plans for you is of good and not of evil, man. To give you an expected end. That's the God I serve, man. I don't know what kind of God y'all serve, but I know the God that I serve is a true and living God. And what a mighty God that I serve. So let me break it down to you one more good time. On this 3P, Shaq and Kobe 3P. God is saying simply, I know what is best for you. I see the best in you when everyone else around you can only see the worst in you. Allow me to take away that pain. Allow me to take away those things that will harm you. God. My God, God is that good? He will take away things that's going to harm you. You don't even see it. Five or 10 years, people have been plotting and planning over your life for the last five or 10 years. God finally removed them out of your life and you don't know what's going on. And then another five years passed by. Now you on top of the mountain. You, you, this is the best you have ever been in your life. You're shining bright like a diamond. You're glowing uh, better than you're glowing the day before. You're, you're, you're getting blessed, financially blessed. You're getting spiritually blessed. You're getting emotionally blessed. Everything is just blessed about you. And you wonder why you're getting all these blessings. Because God took away that pain. He took away those Decepticons He took away those negative energies from around you He took away the negative spirits from around you He took away everything that was not good for you He took it away from you He took it from around you So he can bless you with goodness He can bless you with mercy He can bless you with grace He can bless you with favor He can bless you with the Holy Spirit He can bless you with the anointing He can bless you with deliverance He can bless you all over again Food on the table, clothes on your back Shoes on your feet Roof over your head Don't tell me what God won't do Because I know what God will do And don't you ever forget If you need a friend You already know you got a friend in me If you need prayer You already know you got a prayer warrior in me If you need motivation If you need inspiration You already know you got the best motivational speaker In the whole wide world your boy We the chosen ones Be blessed. Go get your blessing.